Hey, what's up? Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. Today we are going to do my most expensive paint job. This is a 55 Chevy truck made by Kinsmart. These are uh, just wind-ups, if you know what I mean. You've probably seen them uh, get raced on Ghost Jerker. They always do those wind-up races. All right, so like I said, I do want to shave off these. And then I do want to shave off those door handles and we want this thing to be just smooth and glossy and beautiful. So for that we're going to need our Dremel. A couple of you guys were worried about Jimmy. Don't worry, Jimmy's here guys. Jimmy's here. We've just been referring to Big Jimmy recently just because he's usually a little bit easier to see. A little bit more accessible and this guy is just... Well, just look at him. All right, so let's remove some of this stuff here. Before I get too carried away with sanding and filing, I'm going to just strip this. This paint is highly reactive to the stripper, so this should make for some real good footage here when we flip it over and get to the outside of the truck. It's going to be insane. Grab a big blob. Here we go. Whoa. So satisfying. It's like Freddy Krueger's face. Ugh. You can hear it too. Just... Probably about ready to go here. You guys know this stuff works real good. I'm going to go give this little scrub with a wire brush some hot soapy water and I will be right back. Okay, we're nice and clean. So I'm going to just finish this up. Get all the sanding done here. And I don't think there's any other custom stuff we need to do on this box. I might have to put a little extra stripper on here and go give it one more good rinse before we go to paint. I'm going to finish up the sanding and then we're going to see about lowering the suspension on this bad boy. It's a real sweet ride but it's going to be sweeter if we can just tuck those mags under there a little bit. Now we're talking that's a way nicer ride height. Nothing screwed down obviously right now but I think that looks... Uh, I like it. I like it a lot. So now I think we can give this one last final rinse. Get it cleaned up for paint and I will meet you in the spray booth. Okay. And here comes some gloss black. So we're going to use a whole bunch of air, a little bit of silver, and we're going to try to turn this black into just about a chrome. Okay, so now comes the color. What we're going to do is I'm going to do a two-tone, but I'm not going to tape it. I'm going to fade it. And we're going to go from a dirt track brown, which is an absolutely gorgeous color. And we're going to fade that to a black right on the body line. It's going to be sweet.
It's looking real good so you can see. I did a pretty good job of staying above the body line. This little bit of overspray, that's okay because we're going to do a black down here. This looks really dark right now, but once it's in the light, this thing is going to be just incredible. So I'm going to mix up some black candy for the bottom and we're going to do that and we're going to let this whole thing dry right up. Okay, now it's time for the moment of truth. We're gonna add this color shift. Now this could ruin this candy paint job. I'll be honest, you know, I'm a little bit worried about it because, you know, we got a really dark, sweet looking truck right now. And we're gonna put a pretty heavy silver flake on top of that. But the whole purpose of this video is basically experimentation, just to see what this is gonna do on dark paint. That's why we're doing this. The whole last year has pretty well been experimenting on this channel and next year's content. You know, we'll have all of our paints figured out by then and we can really start doing some customs. But this year it's all been about experimenting with Createx because when I started the channel they sent me a huge box of paint. You know, shout out to them. Those guys are awesome. And I'm still going through all the colors. They didn't send me this though, I picked this up on the weekend for you guys and um, it's probably better suited for a Lambo or something like that, something exotic, but we're doing it on this truck anyways, we're going to see what it looks like. I know you guys can't see that well. All you see is flakes. But this is going to be insane. Let me get some clear on this. Okay, so we got our paint cooking. I want to have a look at this interior and this little wooden box insert. Should be able to do something with this, make it look nice. But I do want to try get a nice brown wash on here to see if we can darken this up. There we go, we got some wood color. On this plastic, it looks a lot better than it did. Feeling that, so put that to the side, and we just gotta worry about this interior here if we can. Gotta have these little custom cranks, some nice billet ones. It's our nice brown interior, I like it. The paint on this thing is insane. I don't know how much it suits the car, you guys be the judge. Definitely not a 50 steering wheel, so I'm just going to go ahead and chrome this up. I think we're good to go on an assembly here, so let's, uh, let's get cracking. I'm very curious what you guys are going to say about this paint. It is, uh, it's intense. Got a little baby taillight bar. Custom taillights. That's why I love these models so much. They're really cool models and they give you all that awesome stuff you want. Like big stick shifts. Alright, you ready? I'm ready. This is going to be pimp. It turned out pretty dark and I can't really tell our candy apart in normal light, which is I'm totally fine with. I had no idea. What was going to happen spraying out that expensive flare paint? As far as little customs go, this thing is sweet. Let me open this up here. Classic brown interior. It's very nice. And that window trim really ties the room together quite nicely. I got a little air bubble in the hood right here. I am going to have to probably wet sand out. But other than that, it's very cool. Anyways, let's get this up on the stand so we can admire this flare effect. So you can see her candy below there, but she's deep. She is deep. I'd like to uh, experiment with this 
flare a little bit more? What if we put it over a nice blue or something like that? What would happen? So I don't know. So anyways, guys, that is my most expensive paint ever. I don't know what it would cost to put this on a real car. I think it would be outrageous, but you would need to be outrageous to have this on your car in the first place. So leave a like if you enjoyed this video. I hope you did. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you in the next one. Pew, 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 pew. Crazy.